Hi everyone, I'm Jared Johnson, Senior Technology Evangelist with CData Software, and I am really excited to introduce you to our CData MCP servers. CData MCP servers allow your AI assistant to ask for answers from your enterprise data by combining the model context protocol with CData's trusted connectors. Since we use the same tabular model in our MCP servers that we have used across our connectivity solutions, uh, for the history of the organization, Claude and soon other LLMs get comprehensive access to enterprise data for exploration and answering questions without the need for dozens of bespoke tools. I've already installed my Jira and Salesforce MCP servers. I've authenticated with my credentials, so my permissions will be propagated through the MCP server, so anything that I'm allowed to do with Salesforce and Jira, I'll be able to do with the MCP server and with uh, for Jira and for Salesforce. So you can see here, our tools are very generic. Add rows, count rows. You see, get procedures, get procedure params, get foreign keys. We use that tabular model because it's something that an LLM can make sense of um, and answer questions uh, using, dig into the information. So we'll start with something pretty basic. We're gonna ask, can you list my open opportunities for this month? Um, I didn't have to tell it what an opportunity was. I didn't have to tell it what open meant. Uh, it knows to look in Salesforce because it knows that Salesforce is a CRM. Uh, it's asking for permission to get the tables. That's the list of all of the Salesforce objects. Uh, it's gonna ask for the columns. That's the fields that exist within the object. So it's checking the opportunity table. Uh, it's looking for open. So, uh, and then it's running a query. So it's getting some data. Uh, creating a SQL query because it thinks it's talking to a database. CData connector on the back end is translating that to the API request. And it's pulling all of my open opportunities for uh, the month of April. It's got everything listed out, uh, fa fairly well distributed, giving me some information, um, you know, uh, organized it by uh, stage. Um, but what I'm curious about is my open opportunities for this month that have any open JIRA tickets for this month that have any open JIRA tickets. So what I'm curious about here is if there's something that our support team needs to be working on in order to get this ticket uh, into, a, or get this opportunity into a closed state. So it recognized that there was a JIRA ID field in the opportunities. So now it's going into JIRA to get that information uh, it did the same thing. It saw what entities were available. Now it's seeing all of the fields that are available. And now we can see which ones are still open. Uh, so it's running the query. It's requesting the data. And uh, using filtering, using the JIRA IDs that were found in Salesforce to get this information. Uh, what's really cool here is that this uh, all of this communication is secure. So we're using the highest level of security that's available uh, for each service that we're working with. So data is encrypted across the wire. Uh, the data transfer is secure. Um, and now we can see everything that's available. We've got this Minty installation uh, with the Jira support ticket. We've got this Wikibox uh, installation. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna suppose that I've already talked to uh, the support team and they said, oh yeah, that uh, Minty installation ticket, you can actually go ahead and close. So I'm gonna do that now. Um, you can do more than read. You can actually write, write back to the data source. What's great about this CData MCP servers is that's something that you can globally turn off. So as an IT team, maybe you don't want your users to be able to write back to the data source uh, from their AI client. So that's something that you can change and permit. So uh, this is gonna run through and get, uh, figure out how to close this ticket. So it's looking at stored procedures. SQL stored procedures are how CData connectors perform actions that don't make sense from a read write perspective for tables. Closing a ticket is one of those. So uh, it's running into some errors. It's gonna figure out um, you know, the best way to solve this problem. And it looks like it has run the right query. Uh, it's closed the ticket and it's, um, you know, perform the action, it actually read data back out of JIRA. We can actually, in this case, we're gonna go back into JIRA and see if we can confirm that from the UI. So here is our Minty installation. Ticket status set to done. 
so these simple queries give you a basic idea of how easy it is to ask questions of and perform actions against your enterprise data with CData MCP servers. We'd love for you to download a free MCP server for yourself. They're free until the end of 2025. You can try them out, test them, see how they work for you, see what kind of cool questions you can ask of your data. We'd really appreciate you joining us in the CData community to share any insights that you gain into the MCP servers or into your data and uh, provide any feedback that you have uh, on what we've built and, and what we're offering. We think your AI is ready to talk to your data and it finally has something worth saying with CData MCP servers.